that God is crying out and calling out for His church to love Him like He loves us. Amen. You know, people see the Lord, of course, not only as they say, you know, that He was a prophet. He wasn't a prophet. He moved. He, he can be anything and He can do anything. If there were times where He was a pastor because He had the flock. Sometimes he did the evangelistical work because he was an evangelist. I mean, he was touching all those around and now all those around the world. He was touching those that were there and bringing many people to himself, to the feet of Jesus. You know, he was an apostle. He went around and establishing churches and he went around as a prophet saying, Thus said the Lord. And he went around teaching, teaching, preaching, and healing, bringing healing to God's people. Amen. And we're going to go into some of the books of the prophets here tonight. And I'm telling you, you know, we talk about some steak. As we wait, come on now. And sometimes that's how I feel what God gives me. It is um, very outpouring when God speaks to my heart and to bring this message because I really don't know how God wants to bring an awareness, to bring a preparation for this word of God. You know, I went live there on Tina Vieska today. And yay, we got our channels back. Come on now, give a shout out. Praise be and glory to God. We got our lives going back on there on our YouTube pages. Crossing Borders International. As well as, and I'm going to double check all those. Come on now. But when I checked on Tina Vieska today, our live post was on. Amen. Our live post was on. Don't forget to don't forget to share the page, like the page, amen, and be that evangelist as you do so. Because being an evangelist is sharing what God has given unto you. Like I said. We're going to go ahead and go into this song because this is an English version of this song. You were so captivating. I love your presence. I pray for you to go. I just want you to stay. Shadow of my 
place for you. welcome in our room. Amen. And I'm telling you, it's something about the Shinnamai. As we thank the Lord and as we praise Him for all the wonderful things, how He works and how He does things within our life, that it is such a blessing. Amen. And as I've been listening to this song, you know, it really took me back home into the presence of God where God is speaking and saying so many things that He is speaking into our lives. Amen? And we're inviting God to come into our home. Amen? I'm going to be opening up the Word of God there at 2 Kings 2, 23. Amen? And as we see there out of the book of Elijah, that God is speaking in volumes to his prophets. Amen. And I'm really just going to try to break this down because there's so much word that God has given unto me. Amen. But I'm telling you, over the spirit of Elisha, from Elijah... That he had asked for a double portion of the spirit of Elijah. Now, I'm telling you, I'm thinking of Elijah right now and him saying, wait a minute. You've seen everything in who I am. You've seen everything in what I do. And now you're still asking for a double portion of my anointing. You know, I have someone that says there, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? You know, hey, you might be living. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And there, there's a double portion of your spirit. That's the, the, the need, the want, the desire of Alicia's reply. But even Elijah said, you know what? You've asked this difficult thing. But yet, yet, he says, yet, if you see me when I'm taken from you, it will be yours. And I'm saying, you have to know who you're connected to. <laughs> You have to know who you're connected to. You have to know who's surrounding you. Come on now, because I'm telling you, where the presence of the Lord is, there is freedom. I'm telling you, when Jesus was walking the streets and the highways and the byways, it was just a woman that wanted to touch the hem of Jesus' garment to be delivered, to be healed, to be made whole. And completeness and a wholeness. And I just said a word right there here tonight. Because I'm telling you, your socks are going to be blessed here today. Even down to your socks. There's something about being blessed. There's something about being whole. And there's something about being healed. And I'm telling you, as we read this story, you're going to be able to see that it's not just the story of the good book, but it's the story of our lives. That when there was a crossover, come on now. And we're almost coming into another year, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, when God is in it, there's always more than enough. When God is in the picture, He knows how to expand the land. So just tell your neighbor right there. Come on now. God is about to expand your land. Hallelujah. Because I don't know where you've been stepping. And I don't know where you've been going. And I don't know who you've been touching. And I don't know who you've been hearing. Come on now. Because 
faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And maybe you've been hearing some things. Come on now. Maybe you've been hearing the blessings of God. Maybe you've been hearing the anointing of God. Maybe you've been hearing the voice of God continually through prayer and through the word. And I'm telling you, God is about to cross you over to the other side. Hallelujah. To give your neighbor a high side and make sure you tell them, are you coming? Are you coming? Are you coming with me here today? Because we're about to cross over. Come on now. To the other side. Don't, don't, don't look back. I don't want to look back. I don't want to turn into a pillar of salt. Come on now. I'm not going to look back. Hey, it looked good back then. But you know what? Towards God, it wasn't good at all. And I'm saying looking back of that shame, looking back in that guilt, looking back in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, thinking that all those scandals were good. Even there in Egypt, oh, how we miss those days of our fish suits. Oh, how we miss those days. Yeah, but you forgot the whoopings. I'm telling you. You forgot the knocks over your head. You forgot, you forgot how quickly we forget. When we think that our past is better, gonna be better than our future. I'm telling you, God says that he knows how to take you from glory to glory. God knows how to take you from strength to strength. God knows how to not beat you when you're down. But I'm telling you, when you're down, God knows how to pull you up. He knows how to put you and place you and set you upon a rock. That even though you may feel lost, in the middle, I'm telling you, that's all right. Because I'm telling you, it was in the middle when things began to happen that God began to touch and deliver. Because one was coming on this side, wanting to touch Jesus' garment. The other side was death that was trying to overtake, overtake the son. Of that man, that his son felt like he was dead and there was no life. And Jesus was in the middle. Come on now. So Jesus knows how to be in the middle. And I'm not telling to be middle as being warm. I'm saying middle of everything where God can be and to touch you and to minister you to draw you out to draw you back not to go back but to move forward and you have to see yourself you have to be enlightened in yourself with God not outside of God but with God and in God because if you're seeing yourself already outside of God, then you've already got out of the...